if you can understand and fully get this, that if you can just go like this, how did I cause that? Okay, if I caused it with all those thoughts I've just realised, then can't I change this? Because isn't it simply me reflected? Why am I having to ignore it, not accept it, cancel it out, blind myself to it? Can't I just go, well, look at this. How do I change this? Let's do a Loz lesson about staying in the moment when you've gotten triggered. This person's actually written how to move on in the moment of getting triggered. And I'll actually tell you the difference to stay in the state or to move on from the triggered moment and what to do when you're feeling triggered by your 3D circumstances. So guys, the reason why I made the distinction between moving on in the moment of getting triggered and staying in the state, because it's two different things, and some of you get a bit confused by this. A lot of you have been taught to ignore 3D circumstances or say, I do not accept this. Someone said to me that to me the other day and I thought that's not actually the solution to the problem. So if you don't accept 3D circumstances, and I know I've probably said this before, don't accept it, cancel, delete what I just saw, ignore. That's all very well to say, but some of you find it very difficult. And sometimes saying that and thinking that you need to move on from the circumstances or really stop yourself from feeling triggered or not accept and blind yourself to what you're seeing actually might not help you necessarily because it's actually giving a lot of power to the circumstances. Now, what do I mean by that? A lot of you haven't fully understood yet, completely and fully accepted that the circumstances are simply your reflection. Because if you're planning to cancel them out, if you're trying to ignore them, if you're trying to not accept them, if you're trying to move on in the moment like this person's written, are you fully accepting that they're part of you, that they came from you, that they're your reflection, that they simply are you made manifest, whatever you were thinking? That they are your I amness objectified. So say you've just found out your specific person's got a third party and you can't figure out how the hell you manifested that. You have to go back and backtrack and figure out your thinking about yourself and your specific person to figure out how the hell you manifested a third party into your reality. Now, a lot of you won't understand that that person is simply an illusion within the reality that you've made, that third party. Now, what do I mean by illusion? I don't mean they don't exist. I mean, they literally are the illusory reflection of what you were once thinking, which is I won't be chosen by my specific person or they don't love me or they don't want me or they want other girls or I can't trust them or I'm not good enough, I'm not pretty enough, 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 enough. So if you once thought those thoughts dominantly throughout your relationship, probably subconsciously and a lot of you don't even realise you're thinking them because they've become you and you just think those thoughts and you don't even realise you're thinking them, you see them following girls on Instagram and think, who's that? or you see them looking at girls in the street, or you worry about your relationship status, or you worry if they love you as much as you love them, all that stuff's going on and you just think it's part of being in a relationship. No, it's not. That's you reflecting out a reality where they won't choose you, a reality where they'll want someone else, a reality where another person will be the chosen person because you aren't enough as you are. And you haven't accepted, the thing you haven't accepted is that you now are the creator of this thing that's really bothering you, that you're trying to move on from in the moment, as this person wrote. Sometimes what a lot of you need to do is this. Hmm. Look at this shit. Like the dog in the meme. Look at this absolute bullshit that I created, right? Now, when the dog in the meme is sitting inside the fire, fiery house and the house is burning down around them and there's flames around them and they're sitting chilling with their cup of coffee, are they trying to move on from the moment? Are they trying to not accept the moment? Are they trying to ignore the moment? Are they trying to not be in that moment? No, they are literally in the moment, sitting inside the burning down shit show of a house, knowing they caused it and going, this is fine. 
Can you see the difference between going, oh my God, I, can't, I don't accept, I cancel, I don't accept, I don't accept that there's a third party, I don't accept it, I'm trying to ignore it, I'm trying to look away from it. Ah. Now you can turn your attention away from it, I do teach you to do that, but just for a moment before you turn your attention away, the other thing you can do is accept it. Or you can fully be staring at it, accepting it. Doesn't mean you have to agree with it, but you're accepting you caused it and you're accepting it's there and you're accepting it's part of your I amness and it's simply an illusion. It is you pushed out. Huh. What was I thinking that might have caused this girl? Hmm. Let me backtrack. Let me not be thrown by her. Let me think. What was I thinking throughout our relationship that would have caused a third party to come along once we'd split up that's caused him to choose someone else? Was I ever thinking he might like other girls? Oh, you know what? Actually, sometimes I was paranoid about who he'd started following on Instagram. Jeez, maybe I have a bit of paranoia about other girls. One time we were walking down the street and I saw him notice a pretty girl. That bothered me. Why did that bother me? Well, I guess I thought maybe she was prettier than me or she was a threat to me or maybe he did that a lot when I wasn't there. Like, what does he do when I'm not standing next to him? Or why did he do that while I was there? Maybe I even said something to him one time about why do you follow so many girls on Instagram or who's that girl? Is she your friend or something? Actually, I remember saying that once. Yeah, that's right. One time he gave me a compliment and I put myself down. Instead of accepting the compliment, I said, oh, no, I'm not that pretty or, oh, thanks, but my thighs aren't that thin or I've got cellulite or it's Botox did I put myself down sometimes in his presence when he gave me a compliment? I did actually. What was I actually thinking subconsciously in the back of my mind, just about myself in general in that relationship? Why would he choose me? Why would he want a girl like me? He could have any girl he wanted. He's so hot. He's so great. He's so perfect. He's so wonderful. Why would he want me? Any moment now, this probably will end. He might choose someone else. Maybe he won't want me in the end. All my relationships... I don't even want to say it, guys. I'm, I'm acting the part here right now, but even saying this shit is giving me the whoops because I don't think like this. And if I do, I stop myself. Like me even doing that right now, I feel like I'm going to manifest that for myself. That's how much I'm aware of my thoughts. But are you doing that? Some of you don't even know you're doing it. It's become you and you have no idea that that subconscious thinking is running you the entire relationship. And then you're surprised, shocked, shook, upset, thrown, devastated when something in your 3D reality shows you what you were, that you were a person feeling unchosen, that you were a person worried about other people, that you were a person who felt not enough. It's simply your reflection and now you're so upset by it, sometimes devastated, sometimes like your world's fallen apart. If you can understand and fully get this, that if you can just go like this, how did I cause that? Okay, if I caused it with all those thoughts I've just realised, then can't I change this? Because isn't it simply me reflected? Why am I having to ignore it, not accept it, cancel it out, blind myself to it? Can't I just go, well, look at this. How do I change this? Maybe I have to think dominantly the opposite of what I was thinking before that I've just realised. So then when I do that, this will change because this is simply me personified. Me in human form, me in the form of a third party. Are you guys getting this? When you accept it and just accept it as it is, you don't have to like it. You don't have to agree with it. You don't have to let it stay there for the rest of its life. But you are the one giving it life. In fact, you're the one who literally made it born. You're trying to abort the birthed child. Who gave birth to this child? There's a child here. Oh, my God. You did. Are you guys getting it? So instead of being so upset by it, just go, why am I getting so upset by this? I am simply the one who did it. There's no other explanation except for what I was thinking that caused this. I can't get angry at the person. I can't get angry at the circumstance. I can't feel devastated. I can't feel fearful that it's never going to end. I can't feel like I can't fix it. Of course I can fix it. It is literally my reflection. Right now, 
outside of me is the reflection of what I once thought. So if I change, won't it naturally change? Didn't I change the reality I was in from being loved by my specific person with all these thoughts that I wouldn't be chosen and now I am not chosen and now this is what the reality is? So what do I need to logically then do? Okay, so I just go back to the way I used to think when I thought they loved me and I get rid of all that thinking that ruined everything. And then this will naturally be the new reflection and that person will simply go away. Are you guys getting it? A lot of you do this. Oh, just go, how the fuck did I do this? How did I do it? Let's backtrack. Let's think the opposite. Let's become the new us who doesn't think that shit and this will naturally change. Okay, great. This is fine. Are you getting the difference? Now, I do tell you to turn your attention away from it, but that's turning your attention now to the new version of you who thinks the new thoughts. Ah, to the new reality that you want. I don't mean do this. <laughs> oh my God, she's still there. Oh fuck, she's still there. Oh my God, what am I going to do? Oh my God, I'm freaking out. He loves her. He doesn't love me. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. I'm so loved. He loves me. He loves me. He loves me. Maybe she's gone. Fuck, the bitch is still there. <sighs> that's what you guys are doing, a lot of you. I have a banish the third party sleep tape on this YouTube channel, on my YouTube channel, Subconscious Laws. So many of you don't realize it's called banish the third party. Not once do I mention another person. Not once do I mention the words third party. It's a self-concept sleep tape about you feeling like they love you. You feeling chosen, you feeling enough, you being the one who's chosen by them. And so many of you are listening to it and then you don't realize that the way to solve your situation is to do exactly what I'm telling you in that sleep tape, is to focus on the new version of you who's chosen by them, but you keep focusing on them out there, the third party. Do what I'm doing in that tape. Go and listen to the tape. It's called Banish a Third Party. It's my most popular video on YouTube. So many of you aren't getting it that I don't once mention a third party. When I teach you about banishing a third party, I never once say focus on them. And yet, with your trying to banish it, with trying to resist it, with trying to ignore it, you're simply putting your attention on it. It's like saying what I said in a previous video, everyone says, don't think of a pink elephant in a room. Everyone, don't think of a pink elephant. What do you immediately do? You're all thinking right now of a pink elephant. That's a psychological way of testing how your subconscious mind works that literally all of you just then, all just naturally built an image in your mind of a pink elephant. If you keep trying to resist the thing that's in front of you, you're paying attention to it by the resisting. I'm ignoring it, this thing that I'm acknowledging with the ignoring. I'm resisting it with the, and I'm acknowledging it exists simply by the resisting I'm doing. Whatever you resist persists, that's what it means. Whatever you resist persists because you're putting your attention on it simply by trying to resist it, simply by trying to ignore it. So accept it. Ah, oh, look at this shit. Fuck. That's how you move on from the trigger. You realise I'm the one triggering myself. I'm triggering myself from this thing. Now, you probably wanted me to tell you to go and do the Wim Hof or some emotional regulation or some bullshit to calm yourself down, darling. That's probably what you're actually asking me, how to move on in the moment of getting triggered. I literally want you to understand that the thing outside of you is so changeable, it's just not funny and you're not getting it and you're getting triggered by the realness of it, even though you don't understand, it's literally your reality personified from the reality you had inside here and now it's out here. So what are you getting triggered by? Why are you getting triggered by it? Why aren't you understanding it's your reflection. Like some of you still don't get this. I say it so often. I say, if I said I was a reflection coach, you'd all get this. And some of you think fundamentally you understand it and you're still getting triggered like a bitch and crying your eyes out and saying, I miss him and saying, help me. And you're completely contradicting everything you think you understand. If you understand this and you understand that everything outside of you was once made manifest by you, then why in the living shit are you getting triggered by it? Really think about that. Hang on. 
So this thing that I made is really upsetting me now. I made it. Really get your head around that, guys. If I made it, how can I unmake it? There's no point getting so caught up in it or trying to ignore it. It is simply me made manifest, my thoughts made manifest, my fears made manifest, my subconscious fears outpictured. Oh, fuck. So if I keep paying attention to it, like I paid attention to the thoughts in my mind and that manifested, if I keep paying attention to the now manifested entity out here in my 3D, aren't I breathing more life into it? I keep saying to you guys, if you focus on things like a third party, you're literally breathing breathing life into the bitch. You may as well go and buy her a house for you and your SP to move into and say, here you go, bitch. I hate you, but you may as well go live with him because I'm keeping you around simply by placing my attention on you and constantly, constantly, constantly trying to ignore you. By, by ignoring you, you're placing your attention on her. You're aware of it when you try and ignore it. You're aware of it when you try not to accept it. Don't you guys understand when you try to ignore or you try to resist, you're paying attention to it. You're saying it exists. Whatever you resist, persist. Really get that, guys. It'll stay there because you're aware of it. You're aware of it enough to ignore it. You're aware of it enough to be triggered by it. If you weren't aware, why are you triggered? So now I have a new awareness. That's the key. What's the new awareness you're going to have? What's the opposite of what you were thinking before? So if I was thinking before, I'm not good enough. If I was thinking before, he doesn't love me. Well, now I'm going to think he loves me. Of course, I'm the chosen person. He wouldn't want anybody but me. When he met me, I was his dream girl. The way he looked at me, the way he always looks at me. I know I'm the chosen person. He's never met anyone like me. In fact, he's told me that before. Even just with his eyes, he tells me that. He doesn't want anybody but me. I know I'm the chosen person because I'm enough and I'm special and I'm his dream girl. The fuck am I worried about anyone else? Isn't that the opposite of what I was thinking before that caused this? This thing I'm so triggered by? Don't be triggered by the thing you caused. Simply have that realisation that you are triggered by your own shadow. It's like you're walking down the street, you see a shadow on the ground, you go, ah! <laughs> Wouldn't that be dumb? Really think about it, guys. If you can really get this, your whole life will change. And everything you're trying to manifest will be so much easier. You'll finally get it, like a penny dropped in your mind. Oh my God, what? Why am I getting so upset? Literally, why am I getting upset? Like it makes no actual sense. If I really get this, it makes no fucking sense. Like no fucking sense. And I sound like I don't know how this works. Okay, guys? So if you've got any more questions, ask me, but hopefully that made sense. And if it didn't make sense, guys, make sure you come and join the squad because in my Subconscious Laws squad, there are so many knowledgeable members in there. Plus we have our mentors who are my top manifestors who can answer your questions if you really don't get this in the Q&A forum. Plus there's Mentor Monday this Monday. Plus we have interviews tomorrow, success interviews with two of my followers who've had a major, major success in life, Okay even like Instagram success. So come and join that, guys. It's 10.30 a.m. GMT tomorrow, Friday, Friday, sorry, 10.30 p.m. UK time tomorrow, and then it continues on. So there's two interviews in the squad, and you can watch them, and you can ask those two members questions live in the squad. Now, a couple of weeks after that, those interviews will separately go on YouTube, but you won't have the opportunity to ask them questions, and you're going to miss out on watching them live. All right, guys, that's in the squad, Subconscious Law Squad, GMT tonight, 10.30 p.m. And you, Australian time, that's like morning. Australian goddess, hello, hello. Something in my teeth. Hang on, guys, I'm scrolling up. Energy goes where attention flows. Yes, guys, I don't really, I can't stand the word energy, but yes, everything's energy. But where your attention is going, if you're trying to ignore it, you're still paying it attention. See what I'm saying? 
Thanks for lecture, Loz. I need this. Good, guys. Okay, any questions? What do I do instead of trying to ignore it? Listen to the lesson. Go and watch this back and you assess what you were thinking and you think the complete opposite and you get in the new state, the opposite state that caused the current state. See what I'm saying? What's the opposite of the state you're now in? What's the opposite of the state that caused this? Assess yourself. Why manifesting as if already I have him with the breakup, I thought in future tense as well. You're meant to be already having it now. It's done now. What do you mean? Not in the future, not we will be. I mean, you could do that if you really want to, but no, that's not how you're meant to be doing it. Molly? Oi! What the hell is she barking at? Sorry, guys, my dog's at the front door and the door's open. Hey, Laws, what's the difference between a self-concept issue being reflected versus you genuinely not like the guy? Are you fucking joking? Guys, if you don't like them, you want me to tell you if you like them or not. Can't you guys tell? Are you fucking for real, some of you, sometimes when you ask me, how can I tell if I love them? Or how do I know if I should still keep manifesting them? You either like them or you don't, guys. If you don't like them anymore, don't manifest them. I don't understand the, what the question is or how it even correlates. If you don't want them anymore, just stop manifesting them. What do you mean? I don't really understand the question. Like, you want me to tell you if you like them or not. Maybe you don't like them anymore. Okay, great. Maybe you've moved on because your self-concept improved. Fantastic. Wonderful. How do I stop letting the 3D trigger me, Loz? I was doing so well and I was reflecting back perfectly. Listen to this whole lesson, go and watch it back when it's on YouTube. It'll be called How to Stop Being Triggered by Bad 3D. Okay? The key to stop being triggered by your 3D, we'll call it that. Mm -hmm. Hi, John Hayes. Oh, thank you, John. Period, yes. Why manifesting as if, I, guys, why are you asking the question 10 times? How do I let go of resentment towards my SP who ghosted me? You start understanding that the reason why they ghosted you was because of all the thinking you had that caused them to ghost you. What were you thinking? Then you forgive them, Lord, they don't know what they do because they were just reflecting your shitty thinking you had about yourself and them. What was it? So if my thoughts say something bad will happen, I just say the opposite. Yes, guys, you say the opposite, but you can't sit there saying the opposite all day like robotically or something. You have to also assess why you were even thinking that. Why were you even thinking the shitty thoughts? Some of you try and say the opposite all day long. But assess why you even thought those shitty thoughts. Like, why did I think he might want someone else? Why did I think this is all going to end? What's that about me? What's that saying about me? I need to fix that, right? Otherwise, it's like a Band-Aid just to saying, everything works out for me, everything works out for me, but why do you think it doesn't? It's deeper than that, guys, okay? Just got here. Could you repeat that? What do you mean, guys? You can watch it back on YouTube. Can you put this lesson on YouTube, please? Yes, guys, I will. Thanks, Oz. I'm inspiring today. Good, guys. So affirming and living that reality you are trying to create. Yes, guys, you've got to create the new reality internally because it's being reflected by you, don't you? That's how you created the shit out here, didn't you? Yes, it'll be replayed on YouTube. Loz, I'm spending the weekend with my SP after one year of not seeing each other. Oh, Bella, wonderful. How did you do that? Tell us, wonderful. Oh, yeah. That's great. Why manifesting? Oh, guys, why are you repeating your fucking question? You're going to end up getting blocked, Cosma. How long have you been live for? I don't know, guys. Half an hour? Um, 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 you are amazing, Loz. Thanks for everything. Oh, you're welcome, darling. Hi, Loz. How to stop visualizing negative things when closing eyes at night? Well, why are you doing that? Assess why you're doing that. You've started working on your self-concept that's causing you to even visualize those things. You haven't, have you? Whenever you get the chance, can you make more sleep tapes? They're the best. I will, guys. I promise I will. I'm trying to allocate time for myself each week for content creation. I'm getting more up on TikTok at the moment. If you've noticed, I've got a lot more fresh content going on TikTok. I'm trying to go live more often on TikTok. So I've got more YouTube Loz lessons to post. And I'm really trying to make a concerted effort to step back and allow my team to do tasks and stop micromanaging so I can actually make more content for you guys. And I promise part of that content will be sleep tapes. And I'm bringing on a manager for all the um, visual content, okay? Love your fresh content. Oh, good. Oh, thank you, Emily. Some say we have to detach from our manifestations for it to come. Is that true? That's what this whole lesson's about. You guys trying to detach is actually placing your attention on it by trying to ignore it. But okay, go and do that, darling. Tell me how that works for you. You've got to understand you caused it. If you're trying to detach from it all the time, you're not understanding you're the cause. You're not changing what caused it and you won't change it. But go ahead. What would my subconscious issue be if I revolve my life around them? I'll cancel my own plans to see them. 
my God, they feel so amazing. This is so amazing. I'm so afraid if I don't see them, I might lose them. I've got to see them whenever I can because they make me feel so good because I feel so lost alone and without them because I don't feel either loved or wanted or get enough time and attention and affection by other people. So when someone gives me the slightest scary of attention and affection and love, I get addicted to it like a fucking addict. That, is that what you're doing? Or you're just so afraid you're going to lose them, you cancel all your plans because you're afraid to lose them because you feel like they're going to leave or you feel not good enough for them so you cancel all your plans. I don't know, darling, assess yourself. Thank you, Sarah. Could be any of those things. All right, I'm going to go soon, guys. This is not going to be the longest Q&A ever because I'm so tired. What to do if their party is is from party is back? Oh, my God. This whole lesson's about that, darling. When this goes up on YouTube, I beg you to watch it. It'll be called When You're Triggered, How to Stop the Trigger or when you're triggered by 3D circumstances or whatever I said it was. Fix the triggered. I can't remember what I said it was. Mm, hi, you're live? Yes, I'm live. Hi, found this quote today in the end. Everything will be okay. If it's not okay, it's not the end. Yes, guys, so that. I just bumped into SP's BFF. If you didn't see for almost two years, I feel it's the bridge. Will he tell SP? How the fuck do I know will he tell SP? I'm not psychic, darling. What the hell are you asking me for? Decide that will. It's your reality. Make it the reality that they tell them but how's that going to get you guys back together oh the bridges he tells him and then uh and then um he goes great why don't you just see you you and him together why don't you go to the end like i tell you like neville would tell you i manifest a little puffy laws thank you for your teaching now focusing on the rest of my life oh did you know you're gorgeous is that the thing i saw in the squad there was like a little puppy running around was that your post i didn't get to read it because i was like flicking through to put this I'm going live on. That's what I'll go back and read it. You need to clone yourself. We need more losses in our lives. Guys, I really do need a clone, I tell you what. But I'm the only person who can make the content. So that's why I'm trying really hard to concentrate on the content making. Okay? I just oh, I saw that one. He doesn't mention me, but other girls will assess how you've manifested that, darling, with you feeling like you're not the chosen person, you're not enough, and he wants other people. You're causing that. How to work on my subconscious when there are a lot of limiting beliefs? What do you mean? You're special, are you? That you've got more limiting beliefs. You're so limited than everyone else. When there are a lot. You've got a lot, do you? We all have a lot, darling. Stop saying they're limiting for you for a start. They're just beliefs. They're just beliefs you've always held. Stop saying they're limiting you. Stop saying there's a lot. Be like, okay, I have some beliefs I need to change. Then change them and stop being overwhelmed by how many there are. Some of you, like, don't understand. When you even say the words limiting beliefs, it's like limiting you. Why are you saying it's limiting? They're just beliefs you've always held, right? Hi, how to manifest my parents being sober? They're both alcoholics. Okay, darling, imagine them completely and utterly the opposite of the way they are when they're drunk. So how are they when they're drinking? Do they not pay attention to you? Do they get aggro? Do they not spend time with you? Do they space out? Are they not present? I know a lot of alcoholics I've spent time with, they feel like you're in the room, you feel alone with them, like they're not really present or they get aggravated easily. Think of them as the complete opposite. However they get, imagine them different. So if they're not paying attention to you, imagine them paying attention to you. If they're not present, imagine they're really present in the room with you. If they're aggressive, imagine them loving, right? And see them like that. Oh, I can't believe I made a TikTok live. Oh, Marianne, darling. I'm so happy you finally got to join live. Oh, wonderful. You know, I have a fear that if I don't reach out to him, he'll go away. Then he will, darling, because you're literally going to manifest that with your fears. So good luck with that. I hope you see me, Loz. If not, what's this? I'm loving my life and I would love to feel you in someday on it all. Oh, Lisa, darling, how are you? Yes, could you? Oh, you know what I would love, Lisa, is for you to come into the squad and have a live success interview with me because you are one of my biggest success stories and I would love to interview you. Or we could just do it over a Zoom, darling, and, and put it on YouTube. And you don't have to have your face on it if you don't want. I would love to interview you because your wisdom would teach many, many people. Mm -hmm. Tell me if you'd like to do that. Oh, my God, yes, would you? Oh, Lisa, yay! Message me, darling, in Messenger, will you? I mean, my messenger is literally at the moment like this with messages about people writing to me about my mum passing away, which is so lovely, but I literally haven't got back to even my friends in Sydney or London. But please message me and put um message from Lisa, right, in capital letters or something so I see it. Starting my dream, dream job Monday. Oh, you're telling. Oh, wonderful. Do we need to get to the core issue in order to manifest? Yes, please, because it's running everything. It's causing everything in your life. 
Or you can just go into the state of the complete opposite. But some of you don't even know what the complete opposite is because you haven't worked out what the issue is. A lot of you, look, a lot of you are listening to people who go, just get in the state. Okay. But unfortunately, when you're trying to get in the state, that thing's still running. That tape's still running. And that's why you lose your manifestations when you get them. You got into a state and then this old shit kicked in when your fears kicked in, when you got triggered by something in the 3D and then it just all goes to shit again. And then you're like shook because you listen to some fuckwit going, just get in the state. Okay, but when you're getting in the state, you have to completely transform yourself into that state. And if that thing's still running, you haven't completely transformed. You haven't radically transformed yourself as never got, I would say, because you've still got shit in the back of your mind running you. So you thought you were in the state, but you really fucking weren't. So yes, it's vital that you understand what your issues are. That's why I have assessments in my self-concept courses, like Worthy as Fuck for Love and A Kick-Ass You, so you fucking know what they are because you guys are blind to them. Like the feeling SP wanting to be with you. What do you mean, darling? Do you have your dream relationship? Me, I don't talk about my personal life, guys, on my lives. I don't talk about my personal life at all anymore. I stopped doing that in about... Um, about six months into starting this TikTok when I realized that was really unfair on my old SP and I haven't spoken about any relationships since. So there's a reason for that. I really don't think it's fair. If I have an SP sitting here with me one day, you can meet him when he decides to <laughs> be on the live, okay? Until then, could you recommend a course for very beginner? There are so many in the link. Okay. If you're a real beginner, darling, go and get my free course. It's called Everything You've Learned About Manifesting Is Wrong. It's on the main homepage of my website, Subconscious Laws. Go and click that. It'll put you on my email list. You'll get a laws letter every week on Wednesday. You'll also see the success stories from the week. Well, not from the week, but just a theme of success stories, and you'll see the success blog. And when you get to the end of that course, then the next best thing to do after that would be the self-concept course of kick -Ass You, which is a paid course. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, good. What's this? SP sent a message that was not how my end state is. What should I think? Thanks, Loz. We'll just go, that's a bridge of incidents too. Or what was I thinking that caused that? Or it's not the end, so it's not the end. Don't worry about it. Don't be thrown. Go and watch this back on YouTube, please. After a month of no contact, he sent flowers for Eid. I'm working on myself, but how to maintain it. That's wonderful, darling. He sent you flowers on Eid. Well, give that good meaning, darling. So don't be worried. Even in the question, there's a worry and a fear that you're not going to maintain it. Decide that they're back and loving you and everything's great. Go right to the end, darling, if it's all worked out. Mm -hmm. What's this? How to use LOA when I can't decide about my life path? I don't teach LOA. You mean law of assumption? Guys, you can even ask your mind. I have literally asked my mind to give me an answer as I've gone to sleep and woken up with a solution. Ask yourself if you don't even know. Or just imagine you've got your dream life and keep saying you've got dream life and it will literally manifest and you won't even know what it's going to look like. You just keep saying it and thinking it and deciding you're that person in that state. Appreciate you. Good. SP is sleep with arms around me, but I'm still hurt about third party. Well, darling, assess how you manifested that third party, why you're still resenting him, how you haven't understood that you caused the third party, why you still haven't understood, forgive them, Lord, they don't know what they do and you have to forgive them. Otherwise, you're going to fuck this up. And one day you'll pick a fight with him about the third party and he won't have his arms around you anymore. He'll be gone. So you want to fix this and understand you caused her or not? Hang on, guys. Yay, I'm so glad I caught you live. Wonderful. So, guys, this will be on YouTube. It'll be called, what did I say it's going to be called? Like when you're triggered by the 3D or how to fix the trigger or the key to not being triggered by the 3D. That's it. <laughs> All right, guys, and also come and join the squad for Neville Made Easy. We've got a few more parts to drop. It goes out of the squad at the end of the month. So if you want to get that course for super cheap before it goes on my website, it is the whole of Law of Assumption and Neville Goddard's teachings explained to you like you're five years old. None of the biblical references, none of the woo-woo shit, real plain English explaining to you what the Law of Assumption means, all of Neville's understand like understanding all these concepts, any techniques he taught and ways to manifest in a way that you'll really understand because it's very, very simplified with videos and workbooks. You get all the tasks. Then when it goes on my website, there's even more writing. There's a glossary. There's meditations. You don't get that in the squad, but you will get that on the website, but it'll be much more expensive because it's a full-blown course. So come and join us now in the squad right now, either for the whole year or just for the month. And then we also have an amazing thing dropping next month that we haven't announced yet, but you guys will really want to be there for that in the squad. All right, guys, I Either do that or come and join my free group subconscious my free group subconscious laws on facebook or follow me on tiktok youtube etc and make sure you subscribe all right guys see you later